Doctor Who, short trips, trap for fools. If he was to survive, Turlo would have to think fast. In all their travels across the universe, monstrous foes and fatal encounters, few were as subtly dangerous as his current predicament. After all, he was new. As the voice echoed across the room, he did everything he could to locate its target and commit that person to memory. Yes, sir, came the reply from the boy sat beside him. Neil was freckled and pale with a fringe that shaded watery eyes. As Turlo quickly filed him under no threat, lanky hamster somehow got caught in there too. Magason, sir, shiny forehead was also sat on the same row of desks and met his appraising glance with the flash of a challenging stare. File under threat, thought Turlo. Richards! Sire! He could hear Fat Smirker shift awkwardly at a desk behind him, and Turlo joined in as his colleagues turned to stare. Richards was pretending to open his books, busily oblivious. It's always the class clown. Sir will do, Mr Richards. We are not Plantagenet knights. The sarcasm was embraced with a swell of sycophantic laughter. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Roderick. Sir. Tricky one. A fast, enthusiastic reply from the periphery of the room. Turlo labelled him Rugger Lad for now and had to move on. At least he was not the only redhead. That was helpful. Any uniqueness here would be seized upon and used against you. He knew from experience not to look too good or talk too wise. Williams! Williams! Silence. No reply. Turlo wondered if he should use this opportunity to explain that his name had been skipped. But as the silence dragged on, he lost that impetus. Big finish. We love stories. <laughs>